Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Now her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? I'm watching. Why doesn't she do coming? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. I can feel you coming. Shh. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. See it too. You promised you can. Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. 
bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear runs far, far deeper. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. There's no going back. You can't do it. Fenua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Focus. Look closer. Look. Use your eyes. Why isn't she looking closer? She needs to look closer. Focus. across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Hellheim. Oh, 
her dear beloved, Dillian. Bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Look really clearly. Focus, Anwar. Focus. Focus, and you'll see. What happens if you focus? Find one like it to open the gate. Find it. It's no way. Give up now. That's a secret. Focus. 
enslaved in hell, but I watched the Northmen, learnt their ways. I know you did. You listened, when everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge. Pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish things away. She's just you. Give it a the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him.
vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rocked. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. He's not right. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire. Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. To Dillian, to his soul. It won't open. How will she get through? Why won't it open? Why can't she open it? She needs to challenge the gods. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods? Two, two gates. gates. Which will she choose first? One of them will kill her. <laughs> <laughs> Surt, the fire giant has answered. Which one will she challenge? She comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua. And spill his blood. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. An outcast who was badly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Like her, who spoke of his own darkness. The Northman.
the pain. <laughs> Human flesh. <laughs> and I still hear their cries carried in the wind. Do you hear them too, Senua? Yes. yes. I heard their screams. And I still hear them now. The Hellheim is sealed to the living, but you already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. Many lands. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. And I'm still here to fight it.
Surt, know that only a sacrifice will stoke the fires of Muspel and let the dead walk through. Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. The Northmen made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. Oh, my God. 
Answer your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! My gods abandoned me! I am alone. 